All right, everyone, we are about to do some mud larking down here by the East River. Uh, got some snow last night, uh, though you can't tell here in the city, but in Jersey, we got a nice little dusting. But uh, yeah, low tide is in about 20, 30 minutes. Uh, not much is exposed, but uh, it's been a while. Let's see what we find. All right, that's what we're working with, guys. A lot of glass. There's some coins and metals mixed in, so stay tuned. It's a nice bottleneck here. Nice small one, could be medicine or something. All right, first tile of the trip. Let's get that. All right. Here's what they call milk glass. Nice piece right there. Hopefully you can hear. This looks like an interesting piece. Looks like it was blue at one point. That's writing. Alright guys, not much into the hunt. That, there we go. First marble. Nice. On to the next. Alright, we got our first two coins. That's a dime. Very shiny. Uh, usually silver comes out black, so I don't think it's silver. But very shiny, so we'll see you later. Found a nice piece of tile here with a pretty design on it. We'll keep that. On to the next. Always a spark plug. There we go. Here's a nice textured piece right here. Probably leave this, but you never know what shape, color, size you're gonna find here. Spark plug number three. Spark plug number three. On to the next one. All right, looks like we got a bigger NB plastic. But, uh, nice blue faceted plastic bean. Alright, what do you know? Not doing too much booming, it's cold. I'll show you what I can show you. That piece, nice piece of purple. Rarely do I find a nice piece of purple like this. Definitely gonna keep that. Oh, this could believe until you find a nice piece of coke shard. Here we go. I wasn't sure what this was when I picked it up, but it's actually a clay marble. Uh, it's tiny, but uh, yeah, clay marble, not glass, but clay. I'll show you the other wrap. No joke, a step or two later, we got ourselves a white marble glass this time. But uh, yeah, all right, we're heading back. The tide's coming up. I don't want to get stuck, but uh, let's keep on going. Walking back to the subway, it's a black squirrel. Don't see that every day. Hey, going, buddy. Have fun. Enjoy the winter. Guys, we are coming to you live again from northern New Jersey. Uh, we got our first snow last night. Uh, there was more this morning uh, with the sun shining and the warmerish temps uh, slowly melting. Uh, as you can see, uh, it is dripping and wet. But anyways, on to today's wrap up from the video. Uh, we went mudlarking down by the East River. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, it didn't last as long as I was hoping. Uh, it got cold, windy. <clears throat> excuse me, and hands being wet, even with gloves, uh, they got pretty cold, so uh, it lasted about an hour and a half, two hours. But uh, anyways, here we go with the wrap-up, gonna be short, nothing too crazy. Uh, as you can see up here, uh, we did get four marbles. <clears throat> uh, sorry, excuse me, so that, uh, yeah, that was a big one there. So let's just go, uh, I guess, top down. Uh, we got the iconic coat pieces. If I see these, I always like to take a couple of them. Um, just to add to the collection. As I said, they're iconic. Everybody recognizes them. So pretty cool. Uh, and a quick thing about them, they were uh, invented, patented in the uh, late 1800s by uh, a pharmacist named John Stiff Pemberton uh, in Atlanta, Georgia. So just a quick little thing about that. And then on to the left, we've got another um, iconic piece. Somewhat iconic, not as iconic. You can see it says Phillips Company, and that would be for milk of magnesia. And that was started by a man named Charles Henry Phillips, an Englishman, 
but started in Stanford, Connecticut in 1873. Uh, and I'm sure most of you have heard of milk of magnesia. It helps with the upset stomach. Um, and it comes in this classic uh, cobalt blue color is what that is. And then just a nice bottleneck. Uh, there's tons out there. Don't take too many, but always like to take one or two. Didn't take as many this time. But uh, yeah, it was uh, whites, browns, greens. Um, and then just took these two pieces. You saw the purple one. But this one is a nice forest green. Uh, we'll get to the marbles at the end. Um, and then like you saw this, this is just a nice piece of pottery with a beautiful little, looks like a floral pla floral pattern. So very nice. Uh, then we finished with three buttons and three tiles. Uh, here is the plastic faceted bead, a uh, little tiny red one. Uh, it's probably somewhere in my uh, vest of pockets where I put all my finds. Um, and then on to the coins. Uh, we'll get, well here we have just regular, what they call memorial pennies, called that because it has the Lincoln Memorial in the back. Uh, quarter, dime, nickel. Uh, the dime was not silver, as I mentioned, they're usually black silver comes out. Uh, this one is from the 80s, I believe. Um, and then we have two wheat cents. So you can see in the back, there's no uh, Lincoln Memorial, would say one cent with two wheat stalks. I uh, did some looking in this, at this one for a while, and it is a wheat scent. Um, and these were minted before the Lincoln Memorials, so from 1909 to 1958. So these were started in 1959 until sometime into the 2000s, I believe. And then last but not least, we got four marbles. Oops, sorry. Uh, we got two, two big glass, and we got one small glass. And then we got this, I guess the find of the day is a clay marble. So let me get these in the sun. Okay. So you can see how it has, actually we might have two clay marbles now that I'm looking at it. This might be clay marble too. So you might have two clay marbles and two glass marbles, but you can see how glass is shiny, usually translucent in the sun, and then on the clay, uh, it's made from different material, and you can see it's pitted and different. So let me just see real quick. Yeah, this might be a clay marble, this green one, actually. And then, yeah, you can see how it has the same kind of pitting as the clay. But it also could be glass just getting bounced around. But anyways, yeah, four marbles. Very, very happy with that. Um, hopefully I'll get out again before it gets too, too cold. And even if it's cold, just gotta bundle up, bundle up a bit better. Um, and two things I want to start mentioning, I always have to remember, is uh, my Etsy shop. Uh, some of these finds for metal detecting and mud larking end up on my Etsy shop. So if you look in the description below, there will be a link. So it would be awesome if you check it out, bought something. It is the holiday season, so uh, happy holidays as well. Um, and then always, uh, not always, but uh, yeah, please subscribe, uh, like the video, comment, all that good stuff. And as always, when you're out there, pick up some trash. Beep, beep.